Tonight, a luxury tour bus that normally carries country music star Crystal Gill is hijacked and turned getaway car for a fugitive prison escapee. He's called a little Houdini who has police on the run in six states after stealing the luxury tour bus and an 18-wheeler Walmart van. Topping it off with a pit stop at the NASCAR Speedway. Who is this guy? And he has still got the pedal to the metal tonight. Also tonight, Crystal Gale is with us live. But the big question is, where is he? Also tonight... Good evening, everybody. I'm Nancy Grace. I want to thank you for being with us tonight. First, country music legend Crystal Gale and the prison escapee on the run in her tour bus. I've been so blue. Six o'clock, this guy pulls in in a Prevost and wanted to know if uh, we could help him get a generator. Don't know what's come over you. So I called uh, some of Tony Stewart's uh, crew uh, to try to verify who he was and what he was. Uh, didn't get a response. He got nervous. You found someone. He was a little nervous, so I asked him a couple more questions. The answers weren't right. And don't it make my brown eyes blue? I walked around back to uh, get the tag number off of it, and as I read the tag number, he said, well, I'm going to McDonald's. And I said, you're going to McDonald's in this? Oh, yeah, yeah, I always do. And I took the tag number down, walked back. He jumped in the motorhome locked the doors and pulled out. Don't it make my brown eyes? Don't it make my brown eyes? Don't it make my brown eyes? Blue? Well, that's one heck of a getaway car. The tour bus of a country music legend, Crystal Gale. And then he topped it off by swiping an 18-wheeler from Walmart full of $300,000 worth of merchandise. And then there was the pit stop at the NASCAR Speedway there in Lakeland, Florida. Believe it or not, this guy is still on the run, earning the nickname from police, Little Houdini. And tonight with us, that country music legend. She's the first female country music star to go platinum. A real country queen. Crystal Gale. Miss Gale, it is a pleasure to have you with us. I was just at uh, the Grand Old Opry and they started singing your songs. They couldn't okay. do them justice. Now, you could have been in that tour bus. You could have been in there when the guy hijacks it and takes off. Well, that's the thing. I'm glad I wasn't. <laughs> I might have been really upset if I'd been in, but, um, it, you know, it's out of my control. You know, it, it happened. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not going to lose a lot of sleep over it. Ms. Gale, a uh, personal question. How much does a bus like that cost? Where well, do you all, get something like that anyway? I mean, they can be, they can range from, um, uh, oh gosh, nowadays from 500000 I guess, on up. Uh, and that's with the insides and everything all, all put together from the staterooms to all the, the, the TVs and, and everything inside. Well, it's not like you picked it up at the used car lot down the street. A stateroom, TVs, living area, kitchen area. This is the luxury tour bus Miss Gale travels in all across the country. And believe it or not, it turned getaway vehicle when a fugitive wanted to go visit his mother. Now, where were you when the tour bus got hijacked? We have, we're actually we were in Texas over the weekend. We came in. Uh, and parked our bus where we normally park it, which is at Prevost, which uh, they have a lot of artists keep their buses there. And we were going to actually fly out, to, and still we will be flying out next week uh, t to the state of Washington. And so we had parked it and actually taken off our gear that we need, all the, the equipment, the instruments that we would have with us. And so we were lucky in that. Now, you know, it takes quite uh, a, a spine to steal a country music legend tour bus. It's not like you're not going to be spotted in it. How long was he in? Where did he go? How long was he in the tour bus? I'm not really sure how long he has had our bus. We just last night got the call. Uh, they asked us if our bus was in Florida. If we had it down there for some reason, and uh, 
I wasn't in it, so I knew we didn't have it down there for any reason. So uh, we knew something was uh, not quite right, and we called uh, the place where we keep it, and uh, it was not there. And so I'm really not sure how long he's had it, and, and actually in what shape it's in. Here is what an eyewitness had to say. Take a listen. You know, uh, to country music star Crystal Gale, you know I'm all about law and order. When I heard this guy was trying to get home to his mother dying of cancer, did, did you, had you heard that part, Miss Gale? Yes, I have, and my heart goes but out to his mother. did he have to, to go mother. in your tour bus? You know, it wouldn't have bothered me if he had gone on to, <laughs> you know, it's going on to Florida. You know, I, I know that um, I, I really feel for his whole family, you know, and as I have children of my own, I want them safe, I want them protected, and I feel that for him too. I want everyone to be safe. I don't want to have any accidents or anything to happen, and um, I, you know, I know if he does get caught and when he gets caught that he will go back to prison, and I'm not sure how long that'll be, but I hope when he does get out he can be there for his family. Do you have your tour bus back yet? No. Uh, at this moment, uh, I, we don't know where it's at. So I, hopefully it's still in one piece. Well, okay. Aren't you about to leave to go on tour? We're going to be going on tour, but we're going to be flying. Uh, I guess so. So, um, but you know, maybe I can call my sister Loretta and she can help me out <laughs> if I need a I bus. I was going <laughs> to bring up that later that too, it, it's almost too much to believe that not only you, uh, Brown Eyes Blue, uh, there's a whole string of hits by Crystal Gale, the same family, her sister is Loretta Lynn. Wait a minute, where's her tour bus? <laughs> uh, it, <laughs> hopefully it's there. <laughs> Where do you park that thing when you're not touring? I've seen aerial shots, I believe, of your place and others, and the thing uh, typically will take up the whole back uh, uh, of an estate. They're so big. Where do you put it? We actually keep our bus at Prevost, which, you know, they, they service the bus, and actually we were getting ready to have some work done on the bus, so we'll just have to have a little bit more work done. Uh, before I ask you another question about your tour bus, um, what was your favorite, I'll get over you, brown eyes, blue, or talking in your sleep? Oh my, now that's hard because I love all the songwriters. <laughs> was talking in your sleep about a particular person? Actually, uh, that song was written and recorded by someone and their, their deal fell through so they said, okay, go ahead and take it and sing it. Well, you know, that's the way it was meant to be because it's your song now. Let's go out to Dr. Jeff Gardier. Dr. Uh, Gardier. Towards Crystal Gale. Uh, Crystal, was there any personal belongings of yours aboard the bus? Definitely there's personal belongings on that bus. Uh, you know, that's my home on the road. I, I really enjoy busing. I enjoy that better than flying because, uh, you know, I'm that white knuckle flyer. So, uh, you know, I'll take the 20-hour bus trip over the, <laughs> the plane trip. You know, it's a beautiful tour bus. Out to Jason in Indiana. Hi, Jason. Hi, Nancy. Yes, uh, at my, my house. The bus was not at my house. It's at uh, the place where um, I keep it, and a lot of artists keep their buses at this particular place. And there's security there. There's the fence around it. There's the gates. And, um, you know, we're just going to have to ask them a little bit what happened. Let's unleash the lawyers tonight joining us. Don't know what's come over you clock in the morning and it looks like it's gonna be another sleep that's night. right you are hearing the voice of country music legend crystal gale tonight crime victim the luxury tour bus normally carrying the country music star hijacked and turned getaway car by an escapee police are calling him little houdini tonight he's got cops in six states on the run and he's still got the pedal to the metal and he's going in class. That tour bus is still missing. Welcome back everybody. I'm Nancy Grace and with me tonight a living legend, uh, country music star Crystal Gale. Miss Gale, uh, have you ever been a crime victim before? Oh yeah, little things from uh, you know my billfold being taken, you know, but you know you, you set yourself up for that when you leave your purse open. Or <laughs> yes, <laughs> so, and what were things. your immediate thoughts when you heard somebody had taken off with your tour bus? It was really hard to believe. You know, that's a pretty big vehicle to just steal. Um, so, you know, I was sort of in shock in the beginning. And, but, you know, I got questions from my son saying, why aren't you upset? You know, well, hey, I cannot control it. I'm not going to let it take me there. 
um, it's happened. So uh, hopefully we'll Ms. find Gale, it. Ms. I'm just glad you and your voice box are alive and well, okay? Thanks. That's what country music fans all over the world are thinking tonight. To you, Mike Brooks, this guy still got the pedal to the metal. Last time he was on the lamb, two years. Thoughts? i tell you what, well, Nancy. Again, we're happy tonight that you're still with us, that you were not on that tour bus when the guy took off in it. And I want to thank you uh, thank from you. a country music fan of yours for being with us tonight. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Don't know when I've been so blue. Don't know what's come over you. You found someone. And don't 